Uh, 1 John 14. There is no fear in love. No fear in love. Not a smattering of fear in love. Dread does not exist. But perfect, complete, full-grown love drives out fear. Because fear involves the expectation of divine punishment. We went over this. Yeah. You're in Christ Jesus. You escape divine punishment. Punishment based on what Christ did on your behalf and nothing else. And nothing else. Yeah. So the one who is afraid of God's judgment, judge yourself. So the one who is afraid of God's judgment is not perfected in love, has not grown into a sufficient understanding of God's love. Let's say that again. So the one who is afraid of God's judgment is not perfected or matured in love, has not grown, has not grown into a sufficient understanding of God's love. We love because we're so wonderful. No, I'm just dead. No. <laughs> we love because he first loved us. And how did he first love us? He gave his life for us so that instead of all of us dying for sin, Christ died for the sins of the entire world. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Right. We love because as he first loved us. Yeah. If anyone says, I love God, and hates, works against his Christian brother, he is a liar. For the one who does not love his brother whom he can for brother whom he has seen cannot love God, cannot love God, cannot love God whom he has not seen. And this commandment we have from him, that's a capital H, that the one who loves God should also unselfishly, 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 unselfishly love his brother and seek the best for him. All right, now you see that phrase in verse 20, uh, he is a liar? The apostle John has already told you who is a liar throughout this letter. Antichrist, false teachers, false prophets, yep. Satan, they all kind of run together. The devil, they all kind of run together. The forces of evil are liars. So we come on this broadcast proclaiming the truth to you. We come on this broadcast confessing our faults before you when we've been wrong since we're adults why would we want to lead you astray we have the Holy Spirit so when we make an error we're going to tell you that's what I did today mm -hmm. alright and, uh, and I'll tell you something else uh, you, you have been reading in this uh, fourth chapter of the first uh, letter of John. I cannot imagine 
a more important meditation activity than to take these 21 verses and read them over and over and over again until they get down in your spirit because only those who understand the power of Holy Spirit in their lives will be in a place of boldness fearlessness and confidence not only in this life but at the judgment you notice in these writings Apostle John refers to the Holy Spirit everywhere in terms of his job of leading and guiding us into the truth, teaching us of all things, and spreading God's love in our hearts. Mm -hmm.